Welcome back, everybody, to more of The World Ends With You. I'm your host, the musical gamer, here with Neku Holmes and his plucky sidekick, Joshua the Douche Nozzle. We are going over to Tipsy Toast Hall today because we are done building a profile for all these people who could possibly have, um... I went the wrong way, didn't I? I totally did. Uh, we'll talk to him in a second, though. Uh, we built a profile of who stole the microphone, and now it is time to confront. But, uh, first things first, who are you? Clear the wall. Clear this area five, now six noise symbols. Make it ten. Be ten of them. You do that, and then we'll talk. You're, you're just, you're just asking for a lot, aren't you, dude? Fine, I gotta kill ten of these things? Well, I mean, I guess it's not impossible. We can start with three. Because now I'm just curious as to what, what I'll get from this guy if I, <laughs> if I complete his challenge. We do, have, we do have tons of stuff. This, this should make the fights relatively easy. Nothing too crazy. Just keep shooting at him. Ow. Can I? Thank you. Whoa. Oh, you just, you just go die. There we go. Jeez. Uh, all right, I need to get back into the swing of things. It's been it's been a little while since I recorded last again, so it's uh, gonna take a little getting used to. Once more, I gotta I gotta I gotta stop having these giant gaps in recordings. Life just kind of gets in the way like that, though. Yeah, I just keep blasting them. <laughs> blast them. Blast them all the things. Use Joshua's skills. Whatever whatever will help end this fight a little bit quicker. Hmm, this actually could probably take a while, so you know what, I think we'll be back real quick once I've actually cleared 10 noise symbols, because this is, uh, I just realized this is actually probably going to take a while, now that I think about it. Alright, well, uh, we'll see you guys in just a, ow, 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 see you guys in just a second, oh god, leave me alone. Alright, welcome back everybody, uh, we have done it, we've killed 10 noise symbols in this area, that actually took a lot longer than I thought it would. Probably because I tried using a couple of different pins just to try stuff out, and uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> pretty much. We obtained a pretty ribbon, though, for our trouble. Cute and elegant, a haute couture standby. Since the days of Marie Antoinette, gold dusted lame lends the ribbon a regal brilliance. All right, well, fair enough. We have uh, we've done it. We've cleared this area. I don't know what that does for us in particular, but uh, we can we can go through this place. Do we even? Hold the phone, do we even want to? We need to go to the Tipsy Toast Hall, and that is definitely not this way. So I don't know what the point of that was, uh, other than just kind of picking up some more crap. Who knows, maybe with that uh, ribbon will be useful to us at some point in the future. Uh, I'm trying to remember, how the hell do we get to this place? Ooh, hello. Who are you? Hmm. Ever dream these pins get so big? I am good at this stuff. So that's the guy? The one who gave that promoter guy the pin job? Not that either one of them did any of the work. Hmm, the tracker's responding here, but I don't think it's what we're looking for. You keep saying that to me, Joshua, but I, I don't I don't know what that's supposed to mean to me. If the tracker's responding, wouldn't we want to like deal with it regardless of what it was about? I don't know, that's just me though. <laughs> That's just how I think, but you know, damn what I think. All right, I think the Tipsy Toast Hotel, uh, Hall is just around the bend over here, if I remember correctly. Yep, right here. Yo, chuckleheads. We got something to say. Well, if we haven't found it by now, it's probably not turning up. I'll go report it to the pro. Or to the po. The po. The police. The po po. Not so fast. Huh? I think I've identified your thief. You serious? Wait, what? <laughs> oh god. Let's recap, hmm? The theft occurred yesterday at 2 o'clock. Triple Seven received a strange phone call. What phone call? Meet me by Kadoi City. We need to talk. The microphone was stolen while he was away. According to 777's caller ID, the, the call originated at a public phone. K-9 
care to know who placed it? We have conclusive proof. What? You guys aren't gonna... This photo shows... Neku? What, I'm telling them? You seem to be doing a damn good job yourself. God damn it. Uh, this photo tells it all. Which of these is the conclusive photo? Ah, I, I believe it's the 155 one? That's our mic! It was in the phone booth by Molko? But I looked there. You're jerking us around. That photo doesn't show anybody. Um, Neku, wrong photo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Uh, it wasn't that one. That was the microphone one. Uh, this, this photo tells it all. Two, 202. There we go. Done. Wait. BJ? I told you not to say anything. So it was you who called me. Well there. When did you get that call? Precisely, that is. Uh, let me check. 140. Take a closer look at the photo. See, it was taken at 202. BJ used the phone, that much is fact. But he wasn't calling you. No, he was calling a lady friend, hmm? To whisper sweet nothings in her. <laughs> oh, Joshua! Oh, you dirty, dirty boy. <laughs> Don't do this to the poor man. I told the chick I like her. And she completely blew me off. Happy now? <laughs> Go ahead, laugh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm doing all the laughing you need. Deep breath, Beach. That isn't the point of the photo. Look what's in BJ's left hand. Is a cell phone? Yeah, why would you use the payphone? But not BJ's. I don't get it. Look at this photo. Would you do the honors, Neku? Uh, sure. 145? The other photo. It, uh, you bastard. Why did you just fucking tell it to them straight? Oh, okay, there is a cell phone in that picture. I actually didn't even notice it. I only saw the microphone. Oops. The one of the mic? What about it? Ignore the microphone. Look on the top of the telephone. It's that cell phone. Correct. It was there when BJ arrived. He saw it and took it. Now, why would he do that? Does it belong to... Wait a minute. You knew the owner. So you picked it up and returned it. Oh, no. This is your phone, bro? Oh, snap. I found it lying around. Oh! That's right. This exchange did actually happen. The yeah, die. I mean, Spain Hill. So Tenno was the one who took the microphone. We just said he found the cell in Spain. Oh. BJ didn't want anyone finding out he got blown off. So he lied about where he found it. Well, I'd say this makes for an airtight case. Tenno left his cell phone in the phone booth. The question is, why? I'm sorry, guys. It was all me. What? Why, man? I thought it'd stop you two fighting. I don't want a burst to break up. So, I just... Sorry, bro. I put you through a lot, huh? Yeah, my bad, Tenno. I was out of line when I wanted to do vocals. But that's all over now, right? We good again? <laughs> I'm cool. Good. Now let's have that mic, Tenno. It, uh... It kinda got stolen. What? <laughs> Great. Oh, the plot thickens. I called 777 from that phone booth. Once he left, I grabbed the mic. I was on my way to go hide it. But 777, I saw you coming back. I freaked and hid in the phone booth. I was just gonna wait it out. And you called me. The mic's been stolen. Come meet me by Molko. So I sashed the mic in the phone booth. I must have left my phone in there too. I checked in with you, but when I went back, the mic was gone. And a megaphone was left. This was there in its place. A megaphone? with some freaky stuff recorded in it. Sign. Go sign. Tangent. 
Oh god, it's geometry all over again! No! I don't want to go back to high school! I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted us to stay together. How, oh, because of me? That megaphone could only belong to one person. Yeah, and we know who it is. <laughs> Fascinating. It seems this mystery runs deeper. Care to enlighten them, Neku? Tell them who really took their mic. No brainer. The guy who took the mic is... None of the above. 1.40 p.m. We need to make a Doi City. We need to talk. Who are you? That's my chance. All right, well, we're gonna watch the, uh, the theft in action. Oh, crap, triple seven. Yeah, gotta hide. Hmm, my phone. Hello, it's me, triple seven. We're bone. The mic's been ganked, bro. <laughs> the mic's been ganked. Okay. Be right back, Mike. Stay put. 57. Huh? Yeah, there he is. Hmm? Why, hello. Huh. This mic is Zeta sexy. Perfect for my opus. Here, we'll call it a trade. Okay, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna... Huh? It's Thanosel. What an airhead. Eh, well. <laughs> Phone booth, my love my ass. <laughs> oh, he actually bought into the rumors. Now to pick up the... It's gone? The hell is this megaphone? Yep. Yeah, great story. Now where's our mic? Mm. Knowing him? In that junk heap over there. What? You know, that's actually a very good point. It probably is somewhere buried in that pile of trash. Start digging, boys. <laughs> Sorry to drag you guys into this. I cleared the wall. Go on. We'll manage from here. Best of luck. Oh yeah, that's right. This was all to clear a goddamn wall. We're off to Utagawa. I almost forgot that was our actual goal. That was the detour from hell. No kidding. Jesus. That was totally... That was totally something I, I wasn't even thinking about anymore. Uh, hey, look, we can we run straight through this thing. <laughs> it's funny. Oops. I did not mean to walk in here. Um... Mm, you know what? Actually, sure. Why not? Let's do a little, uh, Tin Pin Slam. Oh, right. I gotta... That's the wrong button. Hey, ooh, oops. I'm pointing in the wrong direction. Whoa! Damn it! I think that's like a relatively good pin. Ooh, that's a small thing. Interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn you! He's <laughs> knocking me off the thing. Hey, he knocked himself off though. Ah, oh, crap. I had a chance. No! My pin! I'm never gonna get good at this. I'm never, never gonna get good at this. At least not with, um, the Joy-Con. Th this is something that definitely benefits from having a, uh, uh, what is it? This is something that definitely benefits from having a... Ooh, crap. Balls. Oh, there we go. This is something that benefits from having a touchscreen. Is what I was trying to say. God damn it, you got a ways to go. I mean, granted, I could probably use better pins, but jeez, still. The, the Tim Pin Slam, man. I don't even know what it's for. Got you, punks. What? Oh shit, it's Beat! Hope you brought your A game today, yo. Beat, don't do this. I don't want to fight you. Begging won't work, yo. Look, I have to win for Shiki, too. So would you please go away? Shut it! Let's just do this! God damn it, dude. Oh, I forgot to change my pins back to the configuration I like. Oh, shit. I was just trying a couple of random pins. Uh, this is gonna make this fight kind of interesting. Come to me, Beat. 
That's right, yeah. Step into my step into my flamey flames. Just take damage. I can I can dig that. Whoa! No, thank you. Crap, he's actually able to do quite a bit of damage. And of course this isn't going to affect him because he's actually floating. Oh, uh, we survived? I guess we should have survived for a certain amount of time. Interesting. Increases Joshua's attack. Good, let slow die fast. Have one or more obstacles like cars and signs and tap into space to hurl them. Ooh, now that sounds interesting. And a little scarlet type too. That's about all I've got. Yo, 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 you even trying? Hit harder. I barely felt that. And y'all are stale. Next time, at least put up a fight. <sighs> that was pretty close. He's serious. He must really not like you. I could see him hating me. But why race Sheepy too? Is he really all Reaper now? Uh, that's a good question. Hmm. What's this, Neku? Oh? A pendant? Oh. It was Rhymes. This was Rhymes. He must have dropped it. I guess so. He's no genius. He must have had a reason to join them. This might meant a lot to him. I should return it. Alright, I guess we'll hold on to it for the time being. God damn, poor Beat. <sighs> Clearly he made some sort of deal with the devil here, thinking that's what was gonna get him get him rhyme back. Fighting for freedom. Um, you know what? Sure. I, I like buying the music tracks. Um, otherwise, we do have all this other stuff, too. Ooh, we could buy some durable leather. Now, I know that's actually an important thing as well. Swag. A wallet with room for up to 999,999 yen. Everybody's after this design put out by one of the big names in accessories. Hells yes, thank you. I have enough rare metal for it. I'm going to get it. I don't know if I'm ever going to have that much, uh, that much stuff. But at the very least, I got it now. Colorful thread, durable leather. Let me pick up one durable leather, just in case we need it at some point. Uh, no obstacles. And Neku wears this. No obstacles appear on the battlefield. Oh, interesting. Thank hmm. I don't know if that's a good thing though, especially if you're Hello. using like a telekinesis pin. Hello. Increases Joshua's attack. The more these stickers you collect, the better he'll become. I mean, that's fair. Swag, though luxuri luxurious Egyptian cotton is all usually reserved to upgrade fabric. This area sample is decadently set aside as crafter's cotton. Um, I, I already own one, actually, apparently. Yeah, with Cozy Down. Alright, well, I don't really need anything in that group. Or in that shop. Whoa. Increases Nicker's defense while he's partnered with Joshua. See, I could be picking up this stuff. Ooh, sparkling silver? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Pick that up. I got the money. Good day. Oh, hey, drugs. <laughs> oh, drugs. Um, presented six bites. Consumes this to boost your sink rate by roughly 25%. When you digest this, your defense will increase by two. HP will increase by 12. Sink bar. Eh. It's, uh, goes down in one bite, though. That's actually kind of impressive. Yeah, these things go down pretty quickly. I think that's what their, their advantage is. Which reminds me, I need to give people food. <laughs> I've been doing that for a while. Hello. Thank you, you know what? I want to hold on to the Scarlet Tide because I feel like there's better stickers. Just got to remember that Shiba Q Heads has some stuff uh, that I can get sticker-wise. You just have to remember that. Know Uragawa well, Neku. Yeah, I used to come here after school. With your friends. Please. I didn't do groups. I never met anyone fun to be around. <laughs> Me neither. We seem to have a lot in common. You know, Neku, Yoshibi is a lot like you. Cut off. Where did that come from? The UG is split into different areas. Shibi is just one of them. It's just like only one part of the world at large. Each UG area has unique rules. You can't travel between them. Mr. H told you all that? 
Oh, so you know about our conversations. As I was saying, every area has its own rules. They never meddle with each other. Sound familiar? I could apply to anyone. <laughs> Maybe so. As long as we all have our own worlds, people will never really understand each other. Right? They're them, and I'm me. Talking to them gets me nothing. I thought I'd never respect anyone. Until I saw Cat's mural. And discovered a new philosophy. Do what you want. How you want. When you want. Was it? Yeah. Blew me away. Cat was living the life I always wanted to. But I never thought I could. Finally, someone who gets me, I thought. Enjoying the moments about freedom. I just need to do my own thing like Cat. Forget about other people and just enjoy my life. Absolutely. Who needs other people's values? It's easier to just live by your own rules. Yeah. But I don't feel that way anymore. Since coming to the UG, reading people's minds? Shibi is full of people with just as many viewpoints. Mr. H said the world ends with me. To expand my world, I have to learn to look farther. Not write off people's, uh, other people's values as inferior. Maybe I had it backwards. Maybe I need to open up to really enjoy... Yoo-hoo, Neku. Well, we may be stuck in Shibuya, but you can still see a fair ways. Why do you suppose that is, Neku? Why show us what we can never reach? <laughs> that mural you mentioned is up ahead, right? The signal's coming from that direction. Let's take a look. I'm scared. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm really scared. Psycho Records. Oh, crap. Three is the point of the one. Hmm? Uh huh? What? You trying to sell me some pie? I could go for pie. For the 159 or two. <gasps> hey, it's. Shh. Let's see what he's up to. 6535898979 And perfect. Soon, soon, I'll have my desired solution. What was that all about? This is... Vandalism? He drew just now, right? More of his loony art? I wonder... My phone's responding to it. To these scribbles? I thought you were looking for the Shibuya River. I am. Uh, I don't see any rivers. Thank you, Neku. What is this? <laughs> You're such a condescending bastard. <laughs> it's beginning to grow on me, but still. Considering the artist, it can't be anything good. Well, should we erase it? He'll know. Besides, it could be a trap. Let's leave it for now. I mean, that's fair. Now's the best time. I take him to where I was lying on the ground. Hey, say, Neku. What? I'd like to check over by that mural. Do you mind? Uh, sure. If the weasel beat me to it. What's he need over there? Hmm. Uh-oh. Deep breath, girl. Don't give me that. Why those two brats have to show up? You're so in the way. Why can't Math Man just let me erase them? <sighs> anyway, what the heck was the GM doing here? Other than thinking of missions not to give. Uzuki, get on with the horn. Get on the horn with HQ. Now. What? Why? That's a taboo noise, Refinery Sigil. Huh? That? I never knew what they looked like. So the GM's gone Maverick? This is the source of the taboo noise? Not quite. The sigil still hasn't been used. There must be another source. Still, we saw him draw it. That's pretty strong evidence he's behind it all. <laughs> Do you smell that, Karia? Promotions! Glory! I'll pass. Instead of, buying me, instead of buying me that bowl of ramen, you can just take care of the report for me, right? Um... What? You're too lazy to even claim the credit? Something like that. <laughs> Besides, I may have a, another mystery to unravel. So are you saying that this guy is actually the, the cause of all the taboo noise that's been bothering the Reapers? Interesting. Uh... What is it? Same, uh... 
crap, I can't read that third character. Damn it! <laughs> I'm, I'm awful. I'm losing my Japanese skills. <laughs> uh, Owari Hajimari. Oh, so someday. Someday. Th this, this is literally, they're, they're spelling it out for you. Psychedelic. All right, fair enough. Well, we don't have abilities on CDs, but I will buy each of them. All right. Um, ooh, wild boar. What is this place? Hey, man. Hmm. Resist immobilization. That actually isn't a bad thing. And the skull deck. This plays a bit of time elapsed during battle. Ah, interesting. What do we need for this? A rare metal, sparkling silver, and a camo deck. Very interesting. I don't know if that's like useful or not, but it's a. Uh, it's a curious item. Ability locked. Hmm. I have to remember this place. It's like the only place I've seen it so far. Well, all right. Um, you know what? Before we talk to Joshua, I think we're going to call it here. So thanks all for watching. When we come back, we will speak to Joshua about this mural and <laughs> just what exactly it is that he knows about our untimely demise. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. Thanks all for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys then.